guys, Tiffany here and welcome to Our Organic Life. Today's video is really short, but I wanted to start working on maybe sharing some little tips and tricks that may not need an entire video. They're just short little tips that might help you either on your homestead, uh, building your homestead, taking care of your livestock, working in the garden, or even just financial health in general, because that is something that we are also working on improving in our, our own lives. and. What do you need when it comes to building a homestead? Money. So uh, the first tip actually is something that I wanted to share with you. It's not really um, a tip so much as just kind of pointing out something that some people don't even think to do or use as a tool. So re we uh, a while back purchased fencing for our property. Now what we currently have on our property is barbed wire and we're just trying, we're just waiting for uh, time to become available for us to install this new proper and this new this new fencing and uh, the reasoning behind this is because of course we have our goats and our chickens and our ducks on our property the cows and the horses are fine but the goats and the chickens and the ducks are extremely vulnerable to predators now um, of course you know the raccoons the possums on, and down here our big predators that we have to worry about are coyotes and uh, one of my helpers uh, one night actually saw coyotes, uh, a pair of coyotes walking along our fence line. And we do keep our goats inside pens that have uh, electric wire. Um, the poultry net is electrified, so they are safe in a sense. But it just always makes me so nervous um, with them. I'm just always so afraid that one of these days I'm going to come out and something will have gotten them. So we want to put up this fence that will prevent the predators from being able to just pass through the fence and we're going to run electric wire around the top to prevent them from climbing over it. That's not what this video is about, but this is the kind of backstory on this. So the big thing that this is about is that through um, some strategic utilization of different things, we actually saved um, just under $700 on our fencing. Now this was not because the fence was on sale. This was something, this is actually multiple things that we stacked together. Now I am not by any means a couponer. I, I love using coupons and I will use coupons, but I do not like dedicate countless hours of, of my life to collecting and utilizing coupons, though I do want to learn about it. So if you want to teach me, I will, I will gladly join them. But we actually did use a coupon in this and it's something that is always available. So this is something that can be used regularly. These are not coupons that were only available right this time. This is a These are coupons that you can use regularly. So we got our fence through Tractor Supply and Tractor Supply, if you sign up, they have a neighborhood club rewards program. It's completely free, doesn't cost anything. and Basically, if you shop at Tractor Supply, you make your purchases and stuff every, I think it's seasonal, so four times a year, you will receive a coupon for 10% off your order. 10% off of a few little things here and there, it doesn't really add up, but when you're planning on making a big purchase, strategically planning it for when you get that coupon can save you a lot of money. Another thing that we utilize, and not many people don't realize, but I did confirm it with the Tractor Supply Associates is that if you are buying things in bulk, such as feed, fencing, posts, gates, things like that, that you typically would buy in bulk, there is a 5% discount that you can get on bulk items, um, depending on how you much. So for instance, uh, we bought the fencing. If you buy more than 10 rolls of fencing, you're saving 5% off of your bill. So that 5% bulk discount is stackable with the 10% neighborhood club rewards discount. That was the bulk of our savings. But I took it a step further. So, and this kind of dives into the financial health um, aspect. So we do have credit cards. Some people view credit cards as a really bad thing. And I understand that as homesteaders or farmers, we want to avoid credit cards because we're trying to, you know, cut down on that debt. You can use a credit card strategically so that you are not spending interest spending money towards interest on your purchase, but you're still utilizing those cash back options that a lot of credit cards have. Now we use Capital One, and I'm not advertising for them in any way. We have had very good experience with them, but do your due diligence and research the different companies. There are different companies that are, uh, give you different levels of percentage of cash back. Our, per our particular one, we get 1.5% cash back on everyday purchases. 
So on fencing, that ended up saving us uh, right around an additional $50. So bringing our total savings up to, I believe, like 600, and, it was between 650 and $700 in savings. Total of 16.5% off our fencing. And if you're making a big purchase, you could get a lot of money back with that. So I just kind of wanted to share that little bit of um, strategic planning that we did to save that kind of money off of our fencing in hopes that maybe you might be able to utilize that because some people don't think of credit cards as a tool to save money. They think it's, it's gonna rack up debt, but we already had the money set aside, so I put it on our credit card, got that 1.5% cash back, applied that to the balance so I didn't have to pay that off so that, that $50 went straight towards that and then I took what we already had and I paid off the credit card right there and there before the statement date so we did not even pay interest on it. So I hope that this tip maybe helps you. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna start sharing these videos more often, little tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what kind of subjects you like, gardening, uh, goats, chickens, things like that. If you have something that you wanna learn, some additional tips or tricks or things that's gonna help you in your day to day, I would love to know because I would love to share that knowledge. You guys take it easy. Thank you for stopping in.